G'day. So if you've been following our YouTube videos, you might recall a few weeks ago we had a small unboxing of a kit collection we picked up. And I was quite excited about a 1 to 144 scale Avril Arrow that was in that collection. It was something I wasn't aware of and hadn't seen before. So I took that thing and I looked at it and I thought, this is really good quality. I mean, as there's very little uh, subject matter available unless you get a really expensive plastic hobby craft kit online. I pursued it to, to find out more about the company and whether they still exist and whatnot. Sure enough, they do. They're called Mini Wings, and they're from Czechoslovakia. So I found their website, and I got into conversation with Radek, the owner. I did an online little interview with him. He's quite a fascinating man. I would be posting that up on our website, and I'll attach a link to it below at the end of the video. So I made my initial order with him. Now, this guy is a one-man operation, very small. He makes his kits primarily in resin. They're all 1144 scale because that's his favorite scale. And he mostly makes things he likes or he has friends that like them or need them. So for some reason, he's hooked up with a lot of us crazy Canadians. And he's made a lot of Canadian subjects, which is what I find most exciting about this stuff. So in other words, besides uh, Avril Arrows, he's got tutors, he's got trackers, he's got CF-100s, he's got voodoos, he's got helicopters, he's got banshees, like he's got all kinds of stuff uh, from the history of Canadian aviation. Of course, he doesn't do things that you can buy, you know, regularly, like, you know, like a CF-18, he doesn't need to do that. There's lots of AF-18s in that scale on the market. So I wanted to get started with this guy. Like I say, I, I've been in conversation with him. I found out a lot about him and his, his interesting company. Um, not only does he do resin kits, he also uh, does injection molding. He does injection molding stuff for the automotive industry. That's his main um, job. So this kit stuff is something he does as a passion and as a sideline. So the small run stuff he does in resin, but things that he wants more of or get more out there, more demand, however it works for him, he actually makes molds and has them injection molded in regular plastic like a, a normal model kit. So I'm hoping with a little support from you and me, maybe he'd be inclined to put the Avalero in an injection kit or, or somewhere, you know, at least dare to dream. So we got to start somewhere. So I brought in a bunch of his kits on an initial order. So this is my first order from him. It came from Czechoslovakia. Really nicely packed. This is all like wrapped in plastic wrap and whatnot. Very sturdy. Nothing's moving in there. So this is one of those kind of videos where you get to see it when I see it. I mean, man, this thing is well packed. This is a nice, nice job. It's done. Here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. You see the kits are nicely, nicely packed. Look at them all. Nicely boxed. There's a CF-100. Another CF-100. He's got a couple of different, the Mark IV and the Mark III. There's the Banshee. So as soon as I get these ready, I will be putting them up on our website. They'll be available to buy. There's the Voodoo. I mean, some of these things, subjects I've never seen in the scale. And the fact they're Canadian really, really excites me. There's the Tudor Jet. Again, unless you can find a really expensive... Canadian hobby craft kit in 48th or 72nd. This would probably be the only game in town. We have some other ones. We have some Trojans, a Reaper drone. Whoops, oh, sorry. Let me get them up where you can actually see them. <laughs> he sent us some other things to try out. You know, they're not Canadian, but they are interesting. Some of them will be his injection molded kits. There's that Canuck again. Ah, there we are, the Avalero. Now, as I said, we got one of those in that collection that we bought, and it was really, really well done. It's a nicely molded piece. I, I will pull one out in a second so you can have a look at the, mod, uh, the quality of the moldings on these. There's a tracker. Imagine. A tracker. The 1144 scale. He said he has modeling friends that were modeling, you know, Bonaventure, Maggie, you know, Canada's aircraft carriers from back in the day. And they needed things like helicopters, trackers, and whatnot to put on their ships. So this is why he made them for them. Like, what a nice guy. There's another Canadian helicopter. So that's this box. 
Oh, I forgot you sent a few other little goodies here for us to look at too. Yeah, there's some of his injection stuff. Hawker C Hawk in 1144 scale. Injection molded. Sikorsky Dragonfly. Now that's injection mold. That's a Canadian helicopter. And he's got it molded in clear plastic. So it should make, you know, masking the windows and whatnot pretty simple. This is really neat stuff. I'm hoping to build a good following for this and support this man because I am I'm gobsmacked by this stuff. It's really, really nice. I'm just gonna whip a tracker out here for you to look at. You know, it's in the box. It's all bubble wrap for security. Oh, there's a little decal sheet. Nice looking decals. There's the pieces all bagged up. Like there's some pretty fine little pieces in there. The molding is very nice. You know, he's doing it professionally. There's He learned his trade at work. And then there's a vac canopy in there. I don't know if you can see it through the bag or not. So all in all, these are fascinating little kits. They're really well made. Uh, as I say, I'm going to try to build a following for these in the store and online. If you see anything in the video you like, drop me an email to inquire. Or else just hold on and uh, we'll have them up on our site as time allows. And as always, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this kind of video, leave your comments. Things you'd like to see, things you wouldn't like to see, and we'll try to get to it. Have a good day.